The cookies are going into the oven in this avid baker's kitchen. But homeowner Dina Badrai isn't feeling the heat from the electricity bill. In 2018, Dina installed 66 solar panels on her rooftop. Since then, she hasn't had to pay an electricity bill. I don't pay <laughs> electricity or water or any utilities bill at the moment. Uh, and I've not been paying since June 2018. I think the last bill I paid, I was paying about 260 over. Uh, so, so this was a pleasant surprise to me. The installation of the panels cost about $40,000 and they'll last about 25 years. With her last bill of about $260, it will take Dina over 12 years to recoup the initial investment. That means another 13 or so years of no bills for utilities. So what happens here is I, the electricity that's produced from the roof actually goes, uh, is exported um, to SP and I use the electricity from SB. So in terms of cost, so what that is exported is uh, minuses off the, uh, the electricity that I use um, and it minuses off my water and also other utilities like refuse collection, etc. Since her solar panels generate more electricity than she uses, Dina has also accumulated $3,000 in credit with her electricity company. This will help offset any increase in consumption and price in future. But she says that cost is just one consideration in her decision to switch to renewable energy. How can you put dollars and cents to fossil fuel when it takes like, you know, years uh, to, you know, for oil to be produced uh, in the ground. So I think knowing that, knowing that there are those intangible uh, values that you are able to contribute to, um, I think that was one, one other reason why I, I decided on solar panels. This is one of the over 4,700 solar photovoltaic installations in Singapore as of the end of Q2 2021. The island currently produces enough solar energy to meet the yearly needs of over 92,000 households. But the aim is to rapidly scale up by 2030, with plans to produce enough to power 350,000 households a year. That's about 4% of demand. Around the world, installed solar power capacity has increased 17-fold. Solar technology is now more efficient, and its price has plummeted by over 80% in a 10-year period. We do have uh, modules that are being manufactured in China, and naturally this, this cost uh, is it's much cheaper than the ones that we have in other parts of the world. The other area that, that could help uh, push prices down further is also the um, the, the know-how developed when an industry just started, it's a learning curve, but with experience, okay, uh, efficiencies will also have been improved. Currently, there are two ways you can opt to use solar energy in Singapore. Residential consumers, mainly landed property owners, can install and own the solar panels on their property. This involves an upfront cost of between ten and fifty thousand dollars, depending on the size of the installation. Another is called the solar leasing model. Here, the property owner need not pay the installation costs of the solar panels, but instead pays a monthly fixed rate for the electricity generated from solar panels that can be on-site or off-site. So in Singapore, the most common form of a solar deployment method is a via solar leasing. Uh, and what it is, it's basically um, you have the asset owner or, or a company, they will help deploy the solar panels and the systems uh, on your rooftop at their own cost. So they will they'll pay for the cost. And as the so-called a building owner, okay, you will need to pay a certain tariff to these asset owners. 
According to the Energy Market Authority, just over half of Singapore's solar energy capacity was accounted for by the non-residential private sector. One such business is Schneider Electric. The company installed solar panels on its office building. However, this was only enough to supply 5 to 6% of the whole building's electricity usage. In fact, despite the fact that we have a solar panel on the roof as well as uh, in our parking lot, unfortunately, that is not enough to supply the full energy that we need. So, in fact, we use the energy from the offset, uh, uh, offline, offline energy supply point. That's all green energy, it's all renewable energy. Despite the high initial investment, Schneider Electric says it's been able to recoup its costs. It took about 2.5 uh, to three, 3 years. Uh, basically, it is about using this renewable energy and using as well our storage system that we were able to compensate the energy from the grid and that was paid already in 3 years time. Owning solar panels can also help consumers and businesses shield themselves from fluctuations in the price of energy. Because Singapore has an open electricity market, which means that it is, um, it is very susceptible to market forces, the danger of that is that electricity prices can fluctuate. So if you have solar panels on your roof, then you kind of protect yourself in that way. 